Carwood Lipton was one of the brave soldiers of Easy Company, the famed World War II paratrooper unit that became the subject of the award-winning television series Band of Brothers. As a member of the 101st Airborne Division, Lipton and his fellow soldiers were at the forefront of some of the deadliest battles in the European theater, including the D-Day invasion and the Battle of the Bulge. Despite facing incredible hardship and danger, Lipton and his comrades displayed unwavering courage tenacity, and sacrifice in the face of overwhelming odds. However, after the war, Lipton struggled to adapt to civilian life, and his untimely death left a lasting legacy of the challenges faced by many veterans returning home from war. In this poignant and moving story, we explore the remarkable life of Carwood Lipton, one of the unsung heroes of Easy Company, and the tragic circumstances that marked his final days. Clifford Carwood Lipton, who later became known as Carwood Lipton, was born on January 30, 1920, in Huntington, West Virginia. His childhood was marked by tragedy when he lost his father in a car accident at the young age of 10. The accident left his mother paralyzed and unable to provide for the family. As the eldest sibling, the responsibility of providing for the family fell on Carwood. Despite facing tremendous adversity, Carwood pursued his education at Marshall University in Huntington. However, due to financial constraints, it was forced to cut short his education after completing only a year of study. Determined to support his family, Carwood took up a job in an arms production plant. Carwood Lipton was an ordinary man living an ordinary life until he stumbled upon an article in Life magazine that changed everything. The report detailed the grueling training required to become a paratrooper, and Carwood was immediately captivated. Inspired by the article, he signed up to become a paratrooper, eager to serve his country and test his limits. After a rigorous selection process, Carwood was accepted into the paratroop force under the 101st Airborne Division of the United States Army. He was sent to Fort Thomas, Kentucky in 1942 to begin his training. The challenges were immense, but Carwood's determination never wavered. Carwood's hard work and persistence paid off. He was eventually promoted to the rank of First Sergeant in Easy Company, a position he earned through his unremitting enthusiasm and dogged perseverance. When the serving First Sergeant James Punchy Deal was promoted to a commissioned officer position, Carwood was the obvious choice to take his place. As a sergeant in the 101st Airborne Division, Carwood Lipton was known for his unwavering dedication to his fellow paratroopers. During their deployment in Eindhoven on September 19, 1944, Carwood went above and beyond to boost morale and keep spirits high. No matter the circumstances, Carwood always made it a priority to ensure that his fellow soldiers were in good spirits. His efforts did not go unnoticed by the senior officers of Easy Company, who appreciated his dedication and leadership. Carwood's skills as a jumpmaster were also highly valued by the division. He earned the nickname The Man for his expertise in overseeing paratroopers as they dived from the C-47 Skytrain DC Douglas military aircrafts. Carwood's careful guidance and attention to detail helped ensure that his fellow soldiers landed safely in Normandy. Carwood Lipton was among the many soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division who landed in Normandy alongside Richard Dick Winters and others under the command of General Maxwell Taylor. It was a harrowing experience, with bullets whizzing by and explosions ringing out all around them. In the chaos of battle, Carwood was hit by shrapnel from a self-propelled 105 howitzer gun. The pain was intense, but Carwood refused to let it slow him down. He knew that his fellow soldiers needed him, and he was determined to keep fighting. Luckily, a medic was on hand to tend to Carwood's wounds. The medic cleaned the wound and applied a dressing to help stop the bleeding. Despite the pain, Carwood was able to push through and continue fighting alongside his fellow soldiers. As part of Easy Company's mission to demolish four 105mm howitzers that were raining down on Utah Beach, Carwood Lipton played a critical role in the assault on Manor Brecourt. With German soldiers manning the guns, the task at hand was no easy feat. To gain some leverage and better position himself for the attack, Carwood clambered up a nearby tree. From his perch, he was able to take out several of the enemy's soldiers with his rifle, 
making it easier for his fellow soldiers to destroy the howitzers. Despite the danger and the odds stacked against them, Carwood and the rest of Easy Company were able to successfully complete their mission, and for his brave actions, Carwood was awarded the prestigious Bronze Star. Carwood Limpton was an integral part of Easy Company, a group of paratroopers who fought in World War II. During the Carrington Raid, he was under the supervision of Lieutenant Colonel Robert George Cole when they were fired upon by a sniper. Lipton was injured in the groin and face, but he continued to fight with courage and determination. For his bravery, he was honored with a Purple Heart, while Cole received a Medal of Honor for his leadership. Lipton also participated in the operation to liberate Eindhoven. He played an active role in ensuring the safety of his fellow soldiers, scanning the route and bridge to ensure a safe passage. However, the mission was not without danger, and one of the squad members was critically injured by a German-made hand grenade during a battle at the crossroad in the Dutch city. Carwood Lipton and his fellow soldiers from Easy Company had a mission to eliminate all German resistance at a crucial intersection. Initially, Lipton wasn't part of the assault team of the 10 soldiers, but he joined them later. In a sudden attack, they annihilated two SS platoons stationed at the crossroads. The operation, codenamed Operation Pegasus, was relatively low profile but essential. Easy Company had to cross the Lower Rhine on boats to rescue 140 fenced-in British paratroopers. Lipton provided unflinching support to First Lieutenant Frederick Theodore Moose Heiliger, who led the successful conduct of Operation Pegasus. Heiliger appreciated Lipton's contribution to the mission's success. Carwood Lipton stepped up to lead the paratroopers when a mission was planned to raid Bastogne near Adrenus Forest. His calm demeanor and strong mentality uplifted the spirits of the men as they prepared for battle. After the successful completion of the raid on Foy, Lipton's leadership skills were recognized and he was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. He had shown exceptional courage and bravery on the battlefield, leading his men through difficult and dangerous situations with ease. Carwood Lipton remained a part of Easy Company until the end of World War II in 1945, participating in the siege of Berchtesgaden, Hitler's winter retreat. After the war, the 101st Airborne Division was disbanded, and Carwood remained on standby as a soldier throughout the Korean War. However, he was never sent abroad to fight. After returning to the United States, Carwood enrolled at the Marshall University where he completed his final three years and earned a degree in engineering. With his newfound education, he secured a job with Owens, Illinois Incorporated, a manufacturer of glass products and plastics packaging. Carwood excelled at his job and quickly climbed the ranks of the company. By 1952, he had become the chief operator, a position he held for several years. C. Carwood Lipton and his wife relocated to Bridgeton, New Jersey in 1966, where he assumed the position of administrative manager. His career took him across the ocean, as he moved to London in 1971, where he was the director of manufacturing for eight different glass companies in England and Scotland for several years. Carwood later moved to Toledo, Ohio in 1982, where he worked as the director of international development until his retirement a year later. On December 16, 2001, C. Carwood Lipton passed away due to pulmonary fibrosis in Southern Pines, North Carolina. His death was a significant loss to the remaining veterans of Easy Company, and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest Easy Company soldiers. Carwood Lipton left behind a legacy of courage and strength that will continue to inspire generations to come. Goodbye and rest in peace, Carwood Lipton. Your bravery and contribution to your country will never be forgotten.